In Audacity 3.4, we've introduced a range of new musical features long requested by our community of users. When you first open Audacity, you'll notice that everything seems pretty much the same. To begin using our musical features, select this settings button or right click anywhere on the ruler and select beats and measures, which enables a grid where you can see the division of the beat. If you look at the bottom bar, you'll find a new time signature option, which if changed, updates the grid accordingly. Our snapping options have also been updated to allow you to snap to divisions of the beat. If I select bar and begin to drag the audio around, it will now snap exactly to the beginning of each bar. If you click to place a selection cursor, you can use the left and right arrow keys to move from bar to bar, making it easy to copy and paste loops quickly. You can also easily copy an entire section of music across tracks and paste it all in perfect time. If you want a quick reference to help you see what part of the beat you've selected, this display now includes options to view beats and bars, or if you need more precision, beats, bars and ticks. Next, we've introduced a new tempo setting, which is combined with a state-of-the-art time stretching technology. So if you alter the tempo, the music in your project will stretch accordingly without losing its place in the grid. You can also manually time stretch clips by hovering over the top edge and holding the Alt key, dragging it to your desired length. Bringing this all together, let's say you're working on a music project and you import a new loop that was recorded at a different tempo, which means it will be out of sync. First, make sure snapping is turned on and then stretch the audio until it snaps to the desired beat. If you want to set an exact speed, you can right click on your clip and choose the change speed option to enter a precise value. Since our time stretching technology was developed specifically for music, you can rely on excellent results that outperforms many of the most popular paid products out there. If you'd like to try out this feature with some free loops right now, there are loads available on our new MuseHub application, which can be dragged directly into Audacity. The MuseHub also features multiple free real-time effects, including reverb, delay, mastering, compression, noise gate, de and more. You can download the MuseHub from the Audacity homepage, and we've also included a link in the description below. It's worth mentioning that whenever there's a new version of Audacity available, the MuseHub will notify you, and you can update it with just a single click. Apart from our musical features, we've also created an improved exporter window where all relevant options can be found in one place and where you can more easily access the native file browser too. We've also made some of our native effects real-time capable. Just click on the effects button here, which opens a sidebar that allows you to add them to any track. Lastly, if you're the experimental type, we recommend playing with both the tempo and the time track settings together. The time track alters both the speed and the pitch, which allows you to achieve all kinds of highly warped and fun results. Although our new music tools are a big step towards empowering musicians with free tools, we're by no means finished and would be really interested to hear your thoughts on what the next steps should be. Since there are many things left to build, your suggestions will help us prioritize them. We'd also like to thank our open source community for all their contributions towards Audacity 3.4, which includes development, translations, testing, advice, and support. It has always been an honor to work on such a positive and collaborative project, and we're looking forward to even more ambitious releases in the future. Thanks very much and take care.